Virtual meetings are key for teams this NFL offseason because of no combine and limited in-person interaction. The Vikings have been busy getting after it on the Zoom. What up, prospects? And we did a video earlier covering the first 10 virtual meetings, including wide receiver Anthony Schwartz of Auburn, as well as defensive tackle Marlon Tui Pelotu from USC. But generally, the Vikings, the first 10 meetings have been you know, day three type players, but the Vikings added three names to that interview list recently, and one is a first round candidate, mercifully, finally, an offensive lineman in Dylan Raddins, the pride of NDSU, the pride of Becker, Minnesota. Also quarterback Kyle Trask, as well as three tech favorite Darius Stills and Nash. So let's dive in and talk about them today. Uh, number one, Kyle Trask quarterback out of Florida. Six foot five, 240, redshirt senior. Of course, you know the story. Blew up this year. Broke a lot of records in the SEC. 4,283 yards passing. 43 touchdowns. Eight picks. Led FBS in touchdowns. Second team all SEC behind Mac Jones. Fourth in the Heisman voting. Has NFL size. You do love the leadership and intangibles. The kid went through a lot to eventually win the starting job in Florida, but accuracy is suspect. Plus, you do wonder about the spread option offensive skills translating to the NFL. But if the Vikings did pick him up, I think it would be in that third, maybe even fourth round area. Uh, sit behind Kirk for a year or two, and we'll see. We currently have him as our quarterback nine, slotted behind Kellen Mond, uh, Davis Mills, as well as Jamie Newman. So, nah. uh, Next up, Darius Stills, the pride of West Virginia Mountain Mama, 22 years young, six foot, 278 pound senior, undersized, three tech, but of course, you know, we've never had success with those before. Face. Was a two-year starter for the West Virginia Mountaineers, two-time first-team All-Big 12, 2020 Big 12 Defensive Lineman of the Year, 2020 Consensus All-American, career 62 pressures, 10 and a half sacks, undersized but has a non-stop motor. Can play that three-tech, played a lot of nose tackle as well at West Virginia. Of course, Big 12, you're going to be undersized, going to be sub-packages, getting after it. But we have Stills as our number eight, a three-tech, and could be in the early day three mix. And then you have Dylan Raddins, left tackle from NDSU, 23 years old. Like we mentioned, the pride of Becker, Minnesota. 6'4 and 3 quarter, 301 pounds, two-year starter for the Bison. 2019, posted an 87.2 PFF pass blocking grade, only allowing 11 pressures and zero sacks, watching Trey Lance's blindside. Only played in one game in 2020 due to COVID shutting down the conference. Did play well at the Senior Bowl. And he is a high upside athlete, fits what the Vikings have wanted to do up front. And Spielman was at his pro day, and it could be in the late first round mix if the Vikings trade down. And I'm very bullish on him. Uh, he's my tackle five after Penny Sewell, Christian Derrissaw, Rashawn Slater, and Tevin Jenkins. So these virtual meetings, uh, there is a little bit of cat and mouse in involved. Like if you're really truly in on a prospect, like do you have them for a meeting just to telegraph teams, especially in the first round, that hey, we're in on this guy? TBD, right? It's sort of like how you handle in-person interviews at the Combine, even though everyone interviews everyone, or top 30 visits, etc. Usually, top 30 visits, you're laying groundwork uh, to get a jump on guys who are potentially going to be UDFA. So, uh, we'll see how this pans out for the Vikings. I, I think they certainly could and should kick the tires on a guy like Dylan Radons or Sam Cosby or Tevin Jenkins if they're able to trade down in the first round or potentially move uh, up into the second round or the back end of the first round. But we'll see what the Vikings do as draft day creeps closer and closer and closer. More smoke, more disinformation, more just little leaks coming out all the time. It's a fun it's a fun time. BS season is peak season, and I love it. Uh, be your thoughts. Vikings met with three more prospects. Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work? Post some of the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.